ready to add in JetBoost. The good news is because you have started with a template already from JetBoost, a lot of this work is going to be done for you, but there are a few things that you need to do to get everything up and running. So the first thing you need to do is head over to jetboost.io and go ahead and log in. Once you create an account, you will be able to add in your Webflow website. If you're first time here, you're gonna to come to a screen that asks you for permission. So you need to give permission to JetBoost. And then you're gonna be ready to get started. Once you give JetBoost access, you're going to come to your dashboard screen. When you're in your dashboard, you can see that we have this staging area of what I have just as an undefined project because I just cloned it out again quickly. But this was a clone from JetBoost and all we need to do is hit import boosters and it's going to work behind the scenes to look for all of those filters that this came with. All we have to do is hit import and give it a couple of minutes to work. So when it's done, you get this wonderful screen. There's some great animations and all we have to do is update our script tag. So it'll send you to the next screen and walks you through how to update your site's custom code settings. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this text and head over to our website. And we're gonna go to the head code section and make sure that we add in this code we just copied. Once you walk through that step, it's gonna ask you to confirm and go through a couple of different things to make sure that everything is set. If you get the green lights, it's a go. JetBoost does an amazing job walking you through any kind of troubleshooting. If you're having issues, get it, getting it all connected. So once you get the go, all of these boosters all the way down to this voting collection list, so it should stop at search for you, are now included on the clonable that you have just downloaded. This is fantastic news because it means that all of those filters we set up are already working for us. The only thing we need to do is work at voting. So let's tackle that one next. How you do that is click add booster and then go ahead and click favorite CMS items and create. I already have this done, so let me jump back over and walk you through it. Once you add the favorites booster, we just have to walk through four quick steps here and we're all ready to go. So if you are using the same template, your collection list is going to be products and we're going to store it in that votes field. Our membership platform we're adding on next is Membersack, so go ahead and select that and hit Save Changes. The next field is the JetBoost script to add to your site, the same as we did initially for the other boosters, so go ahead and follow those same steps and then hit Test. From there, we have a couple of different options for this. We do need to add the favoriting to both our collection template page and our collection list item. Since we're in the members only home page, we're going to start with our collection list item. So go ahead and click that. And then it will generate this nice uh, class for you that you need to copy and put on the topmost container. Yours should say vote container or voted container from the original template. So that's where you wanna come on over and add in your class. Let's show you. So here we are in the voted container and we have the class added. The order doesn't as much matter as the fact that you have both of them in there. So just make sure that that class is on that container. From there, you can see we've already set up the rest of the remaining structure. So you should be pretty good to go and everything is in place for us to work forward. You can feel free to read through this and adjust as you would like or keep going. The next thing to do would be to test the URL. I think if you're going to move on to the power ups, I would hold on testing it and come to power ups. So we're gonna come to power ups and we wanna update the item count in real time. So click on that little item and it'll give you instructions down here. In order for it to update in real time, you need to add these classes to the text. So vote count, you need to add that to both of them. So go ahead and copy this and then come over in Webflow and add another. 
That way you can see when the vote count is updated in real time. After you've added that, come back to the favorite button and go ahead and put in members here. Make sure to come over to Webflow and hit publish and then hit test. You should get all green check marks and everything should be ready to go. If not, just take a pause and walk back through. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for the collection template page. The good news is we copied that from the member homepage. So our class already exists there, but just double check to be sure that you are copying this class and putting it on that vote. Let's go take a look. So we're here on the products template page and I am on this container that is the topmost container and you can see that's where the class goes. So just go ahead and paste that over here. Let me open the style for you and have that class there. If you are putting in the vote count, you need to have that vote count class here as well. So go ahead and add in those two things just as we did previously and come back down through JetBoost go to the bottom. Here you'd want to type in the product page. So make sure you're getting the URL from the products template page. Go ahead and hit publish and then hit your test. You should get all green check marks and now your voting is all done. Mm -hmm.